Today I'm working on a Audi Q5 and a uh, car just came in with a torn CV boot and uh, the CV joint's clicking on the left front here. So I removed the axle already. Super easy on this application. You can pretty much just undo the inner bolts here, undo the axle bolt and the whole thing you can sneak out by kind of pulling us inwards over here. I made a video about this in the past and then just kind of, you get enough wiggle room where there's, it's, it just pops right out. You don't have to do anything with anything else. So. What I want to talk about is replacing these CV joints and um, how it's, this is to me the best option. If you can do this, it's always best to replace the CV joint rather than replacing the whole axle with a aftermarket one. The, um, a lot of times the aftermarket cheap axles that you can find available online for whatever, a hundred and something bucks, $200 are, um, are not very well made. Even uh, some of the really cheap ones will have the wrong splines on them and so they can't really be serviced in the future. And I've even seen them where the this actual splines on the on the axle shaft themselves kind of wear out over time and then there'll actually be play there. And um, they're just constructed pretty poorly. So when you have a bad CV joint on an axle like this, if it's available and you can get a good GKN CV joint kit, this is the best option for you. It's, um, you know, it's really nice stuff. It's all, it's all factory parts and um yeah and they're they're pretty easy to assemble you can kind of just put the put the axle bolt in the end of this and hit it with a hammer you can see uh, the boot was torn so i actually just hit this with a hammer right here and it just you know held on to the end of the uh the axle bolt with my ha other hand and smacked it with a hammer and it popped right off you want to do that instead of driving this bolt all the way in to release the CV joint because when you do that, which you can do too, but um, it, it takes this clip and it damages it, even though you do have a new one in the kit. So it's if you do damage this, you just replace it with the new one. But um, yeah, so that's it. This is always the best option. There's a local uh, axle rebuilder over by, by me here, and um, they actually have a great reputation, which is pretty strange. I sent axles to them a few weeks ago to have them rebuilt and um, I was very disappointed. This place, the uh, it's the biggest, you know, rebuilder in the area for that kind of stuff. And we got the axle back and it looked great. New boots on it, you know, and um, I felt the CV joints and they were, they were loose. The whole thing, I, sh I was suspicious because they rebuilt the axle for like 200 bucks or maybe even less than that. So, I feel this joints in there, they have a bunch of slop in them when I get it back, even though it looked all pretty and you can see it was painted and whatever. So I pulled the boot off and um, looked in there and it had a bunch of fresh, fresh grease where you could see it. So this was on like this, a bunch of grease, you know, coming out at the boot. And then I pulled the, the joint off and looked and behind the whole thing was the same rusty joint that I, that I gave them. It wasn't replaced, it wasn't rebuilt. They, they literally squeezed a tube of grease into the CV boot put new boots on it, you know, pounded the thing together, painted it up pretty and gave it back to me. And they said it was a rebuilt axle. So it was very disappointing. You're better off just doing this stuff yourself when you can. And, um, and unless, you know, if there's no option to actually buy the CV joint, I understand going with an aftermarket one, but um, it's always best to try to service what you got here. Cause, um, and that's another thing. If it's already been replaced with an aftermarket axle and you're having a problem where the boot's torn and the joint's bad, you're probably going to have to replace it with another aftermarket one because you're likely not going to be able to pound a factory CV joint onto your, your cheap aftermarket one that you have on the car that's failed. So fixing up the old one is, is the best option for you. And, you know, replacing it with another factory axle is, is another option, but that's going to be super expensive. So that's all. Thanks for watching.